Okay, today we are going to make a radial background using the live fill bucket. So we're going to go ahead and go to File, New. And I'm going to set it up as 12 by 12. You need to set it up whatever size you have for your original portraits. So once you have your background, you're going to go and you're going to get your pen tool. You are going to make sure that the fill is set to none and the stroke is set to black. And you can um, leave it at one point. You're going to click And you're going to, basically what we're doing is we're making a, okay, once you're done with that, we're making a um, curvy line. Once you're done with that, go ahead and hit the escape key and it will take you out of that. Go back to the selection tool so we're going to select it, and then you're going to go to the um, rotate tool, and you are going to hit Alt, and click right near where you need it to be, and this should come up. So we're going to say that we're going to rotate it 20 degrees. And if you hit preview, you can see it's there. And if you hit copy, it puts it right next to it. Now with that still highlighted, you're going to go ahead and hit control D and it will make you a copy. Keep going over around 20 degrees. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to go and we're going to get our circle tool. And we are going to make, uh, I'm gonna hold the shift key down to make a perfect circle, but we're going to, I'm gonna make, whoops, I guess I'm in square, sorry. Um, so I can make a perfect circle. Undo. All right, and then we're going to do it again. Okay. So now I have all of that. So now we're going to, we're select, we're off of it, but we need to select it all. So if you hit control A, it will select everything on your screen. You're gonna go to object, expand, and just go ahead and hit expand. And then the last thing you need to do is we're going to change our color. I'm gonna change it to pink for right now. And we're going to go down here to the Shape Builder tool and right click and go to the Live Paint Bucket. Once you click that, you can then um, start with a pattern of some sort so that you can fill them all in. And that is how you make a radial background. If you can change the color, uh, we'll make it yellow, it will do the same thing. When you're done, you, if you click on that and you now have a radial background. Thank you.
and good luck. <laughs>